and vocation, we need prudence, discernment, and a good dose of good counsel. All these are necessary from the more ordinary intellectual application of sound moral principles to the more passive and direct enlightenment of the Holy Spirit. We need both. Why? Because reason alone is not enough. We need help, not so much on the obvious things, but more, more on matters that are contingent and complicated, like many things and aspects in today's modern world. In difficult cases, we need help. And especially in things that pertain to the sanctification and salvation of our souls. We need help. We have help. And today we celebrate the feast of that help, Our Lady of Good Counsel. And in today's Mass, in the Collect, we pray, Lord, you know that our thoughts on earth are full of fear and uncertainty. Through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, send us the gift of counsel to teach us how to discern your will and to guide us in all we do. Sometimes reason is just not enough. We need the gift of counsel. We need her help. The gift of counsel, what is it? It perfects prudence, right? It perfects prudence. Remember, the virtue of prudence we can exercise. The gift of counsel we can only dispose ourselves to. When the Holy Spirit wants, it is He who moves that gift. And what is this gift? It, it perfects prudence. It, it enables us to judge rightly by a sort of supernatural intuition what must be done here and now, most especially in difficult cases. Remember, though, it is a gift of the Holy Spirit. But remember as well, she is the spouse of the Holy Spirit. And St. Maximilian and St. Louis Grignon de Montfort says that the Holy Spirit never acts without his spouse. So that is someone who we want on our side. Let us continue, continually have recourse to our Blessed Mother, Our Lady of Good Counsel, not only in the more complex things, but also in the ordinary things of everyday life. She is our mother. She always and only has good counsel, or on the contrary, the best of counsels. And we can be sure of this because we know and are sure that she is the best of mothers who really and truly desires only one thing, our eternal salvation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.